Hello, uh, and thanks for tuning in. In this uh, episode or this project, we'll go over a window replacement project we did. We combined a few different um, window manufacturers. We did so. We did the Milgard Ultra fiberglass window. All these windows you'll see over here, and then on the side in the back of the house, that's the Milgard Ultra in the uh, bark color, bark interior and exterior. And then these, these two windows over here are the um, they're the Marvin uh, clad French casement window, in the bronze color. Um, and so we'll we'll go in depth on, on about those windows as well. So one reason you might be asking, you know, why why are we combining different vendors here? So over here, the, you know, the customer really liked the the fiberglass uh, Milgard product. Uh, they were interested in in replacing that. And um, and so that's what we did the majority of the home and the uh, fiberglass product. Over here, these windows are actually in bedrooms. And so as you can see, the customer, they did a lot of casements and horizontal sliders where the meeting rail is that nice vertical line. They didn't want a horizontal mid rail or meeting rail like you'll see on a um, single hung. So they didn't want any single hung windows. They didn't want vertical sliding windows. They wanted to keep this aesthetic with the vertical lines. And so over here, uh, these windows are about 44 inches wide and Milgard will not build a casement that wide. The, the largest width single casement they'll do is 36 inches wide. And so over here you can see, so that, that's a twin casement, right? Uh, in the Milgard product, that's in the kitchen. So when, when both windows are, are fully open, you have a vertical bar in the middle. Um, and so that, that's in the kitchen, it's not, a, not an issue, but for egress in the bedrooms, uh, you can't have that vertical bar there. So we went with uh, Marvin over here on their clad French casement window. So when both of those sashes open, there is no vertical meeting rail. Uh, you get a nice unobstructed opening and it meets uh, specifications for egress or fire code. You can you can climb out of that window. Okay, so first we'll go over here uh, and check out the Milgard windows from the, the exterior. You can actually see there's three windows here. Um, kind of like a bay window configuration or setup. These are all picture windows. Uh, just kind of get a get a quick look at them. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what's going on over here. Nice clean look. And over here we'll do the uh, the twin casement. So this is the twin casement. Again, this is the Milgard Ultra product, and you can see like right here. It's actually two windows that are you know mold together. So you've got this meeting rail, this vertical bar here in the middle. So when both windows are open, you're still gonna see that vertical bar. Uh, and that's fairly typical for twin casement windows. Um, again, that's a kitchen. We'll get some interior shots. So uh, having the window being able to, to open like that with the meeting rail, it's not that big of an issue because we don't, we don't need it for egress. And then we'll go over here on the side of the house where they've got sliders. This is another slider in the kitchen, horizontal slider, uh, two light, and then this is a, what we call a three light slider. So the, the middle panel is fixed, two panels on each side, uh, slide over and open towards the middle. Okay, and so we'll go over here. Uh, this is the, these are the Marvin windows, the clad, ultimate clad casement or French casement. So this is a powder coated extruded aluminum exterior. The interior is wood. Uh, you can get the wood pre-finished, which we did here. Uh, and so, yeah, so, you know, kind of the, it looks kind of like the, the twin casement uh, mill guard that I showed you on the other side of the home. But you'll see, and we'll, we'll open this here in a bit, there's no meeting rail here in the, in the middle. 
you can actually see this weather stripping here in the middle. So both of these sashes will uh, open like a door and there's no meeting rail there in the middle. So you get one nice, clear, large, unobstructed opening. And again, we had to do that uh, for this window because this is a bedroom. Um, we needed egress for fire code. There needs to be a way to get out of the bedroom. Uh, and the customer, they wanted to keep the same aesthetic across the front of the home. They didn't want a horizontal mid rail. We could put a single hung in here in the Milgard product, um, but the customer didn't want that. And really this is kind of the only other configuration we, we could go with to meet egress and uh, keep that same aesthetic. Okay, and so this is the, the Milgard twin casement uh, that we showed on the front of the house. So again, this one differs than the French casements on the other side of the home. Um, because when, the, when both windows are fully open, you're still gonna have that vertical meeting rail. And we'll, we'll show that here. So we'll unlock both. And then it's kind of a reach. Ooh. And as you can see, there's both of the windows open, but you still got this, this vertical meeting rail in the middle. Not necessarily anything wrong with that, uh, but for egress requirements, um, it, it, it poses a challenge. Okay, so this is the, the three light slider on the side of the home uh, that we showed earlier. So these two sashes here will slide towards the middle. Pretty simple, you, you uh, depress the lock and what uh, Milgard calls their positive action lock. So you push that down and then push the, the sash over. And it will actually line up flush uh, with the meeting rail. And we'll open this one. And there's the window fully open. Slide it closed. It's as simple as that. Okay, so so here we are in uh, one of the bedrooms with the French casement. Again, uh, this is the French casement. I know it's it's it might be a little difficult to tell uh, on camera just because it's so bright outside. But here it is, there's a screen that covers the entire opening. Uh, again, I know it might be a little difficult to tell, but there's a screen here. Uh, if you want to remove it, you can pull these pins right here. And these pins up here. And then you can take the screen out. We won't take it out because there's some bugs flying around out there. Okay, and so now we'll, we'll open it. So to open it, first you, you rotate this handle to unlock the window. And then you use the folding nesting crank handle uh, to crank that one open. And we'll crank this one open too. So there, there, now the window's fully open. There's no uh, mid rail or meeting rail. If there was a fire, heaven forbid, 
I needed to get out. It'd be very easy to, to climb out of this opening. Okay, and so now we'll we'll close it. You close it just like you open it. Uh, and you, I mean, you can if you want to. You can do these at the same time. And you rotate the handle to lock it. And now it's locked. Alright, so that covers it for this video. If you uh, liked the video, please give us a like or subscribe. Thanks for watching.